Hey guys, welcome back to Popo's Woodwork. So today, uh, it took me about eight hours to put this CNC machine together. And you know, my last my last video, I, I built this table right here to hold it. And that's, you see why I had to build it, because this thing's pretty big. But putting it together really isn't that bad. It's just tedious, for lack of better terms. And you, Which mine did come with, most people said directions are online. Mine came with a book, but the online was actually a little bit better for me. But anyhow, so I've been playing around with the CAD. <clears throat> the CAD is, uh, I, I've used CAD on Silhouette Cameo, and I figured that I'd be somewhat versed on it. it it's nothing like it, it com completely different. So the learning curve is pretty steep on it. Still ain't there yet. Uh, I have no clue about feeds and speeds, so I've, I've done a few scrap pieces here and there, mainly out of MDF because it's so soft, but I'm gonna do some soft wood for the first time and I'm purposely gonna do three bit changes just to get verse in that because supposedly when you save the G code, you gotta save, if you do three bits, you gotta do three separate G codes so it gives you that chance to change the bit. But anyway, so what better project to do for your first uh, CNC real cut, for lack of better terms, than the Popo's Woodworks logo. I'm gonna do a, do a sign with it and see how that turns out. So anyway, that's enough talking. I'm gonna turn you around, put you on the on the TV screen right here behind me, so you can see what I'm doing. I'll show you the design, and we'll go ahead and get cut. All right, so you can see my design right here, and it's pretty simple. It ain't nothing extravagant about it. So basically, I've got the I measured the depth of the wood, where the thickness of the wood is 0 0.76, so a little over three quarters of an inch. I'm doing 16 wide, 11 and a quarter tall. And then you see my settings here, soft wood, Shapeaco XXL, and I changed my retract height to 0.2 inches instead of 0.5. So all that's set. And then I ain't got to fool with none of this because I've already got my tool pass in here. So right here you see the outline right there. Everything is outlined is going to cut out, and this is with the eighth inch end mill bit. And then this is going to be the Popo's Woodworks and the handcraft. So all the letters is going to be a 60 degree V bit. And then lastly, the outline, which is gonna cut completely through and cut the actual shape of the sign out, that's gonna be a quarter inch end mill. <clears throat> and uh, pretty, pretty simple. But like I said, I wanted to do three bit changes just to try it out. So to get to that, <clears throat> I'm gonna have to go and disable this one and disable this one. That way I'm gonna do the eighth inch end mill first because that's the one I already loaded in my Shepako. Shape, shape Oco, however you want to say it. So I'm gonna come down here and click save G code. And I'm gonna do popo inner line. And I'm gonna put, let me put a one in front of that. One. All right, so I'm gonna save this to my G codes. Now, I'm gonna <clears throat> disable that one, enable the V bit, and do the exact same thing. So I'm going to go to G code, po, well, number two, po, po, V bit, or let's do letters. I'm going to do the same thing desktop, G code file, hit save. All right, now. I'm going to disable and I'm going to enable the last one. And one last time. Number three. Final. Well, thank you. Popo final cutout. All right. So, G code. Save. And you can see right here, I've got tabs in here. That way when it goes to cut it out, it don't fly all over the place and all this. So all these little squares is tabs. So now that I've got all that saved, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna come out of here, close out of here, and I'm gonna open up Carbide Motion. All right, it says it's not connected, so I gotta turn on the machine. And then I'm going to click connect. 
All right, and it's going to say initialize the machine, which is basically it's just setting the machine up, getting it in the right spot. And then from here, I'm going to turn the camera off and put the camera. Oh, well, let me show you how to load the file after that thing gets set. All right, so I click on load file, go to desktop, G code, and this is the first one I want to do. It's Popo Interline number one. So I'm gonna double click it, and there's the G code. So now all I gotta do is come down here and hit start, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn the machine and get it ready. First off, I'm gonna jog it, and I'm gonna bring it down fast mode right there. Now, now I'm gonna turn the camera so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so I've got that set here. I'm gonna, uh, move my mouse over here and make sure my hand ain't gonna be in the camera so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna position this thing to the x and y axis all right like i said all you CNC guys out there, this is only like the second time. I used it to make the wasteboard and these clamps, and that's it. So I am not well versed on this thing yet. I'm still learning. All right. Now I'm going to go in here and set my, I'm going to zero all on my X, Y, and Z axis. And I have this little touch probe. And... I'm actually, the touch probe is hitting this, so I'm gonna move this clamp real quick and then I'm gonna put the touch probe on there. So bear with me. All right, after that miscalculation of my clamp, I moved it over one, one more hole over. So I'm gonna take my probe, and as you can see, this thing has got a cutout on it. So I'm gonna take it, and this thing's nice for what I've already, so the little bit that I've already used it rather. So you set that on the corner, and then I'm gonna take and bring this close Turn it down a little bit. All right. Then you got this little alligator clip thing, and the first time I forgot to hook it to it and I almost broke my bit. So you just clip this to the bit, and then you'll go to probe make sure all my axes are zero. Then you go to probe and I'm gonna do X, Y, and Z and pick a 102, 1 8 inch end mill and then begin probing and it'll do its thing. All right, so now it knows where this side is, where this side is, and it knows how how deep the material is. So now all of those are set. And I'm gonna hit done and go to run. Then I'm going to hit start job. And of course, it's gonna move a little bit and it's gonna tell me turn spindle up to 18,000 RPMs and turn the router on. So now at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and set it up to where it does time lapse because it's gonna it's gonna take a minute to do this stuff. All right, as you can see here, I did 
the tabs in here. That way it stays in there when it's cut. Now I had a few hiccups. Uh, I accidentally cleared cleared the uh, zero axis when I changed to the 60 degree V bit. So I had to do that the hard way. And then when I went to cut this outline here, when I set it up in the program, it only went down a quarter of an inch. I forgot to set the depth of the thickness of the wood to go all the way through, so I had to redo the program, re-upload it, and then that's why you see that it cut this twice, so that's where we're at with that. So now, I'm just going to pop these tabs, these tabs loose, because I do them thin to where you can just pop them loose, and then all you got to do is take a sander and hit these, Let's see if you see that better, hit that and just knock that off a little bit. All right, so here it is. Like I said, this ain't nothing spectacular, but... Uh, this, like I said, this is like literally my third project, so I'm, I'm still learning everything. I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna get the hang of it. I've got a, a police flag that I've gotta do, and it's gonna be a lot of detail in that. I also have to do a uh, another retirement gift for for an officer that's retiring, and it's a, it's a police badge just in itself. So I've got them drawn up. Now, cutting them out is a different thing. Make sure I get all the tool paths the way I need it, but so anyway, here's that. I don't think it's too bad. It took probably maybe 30 minutes, 40 minutes to do all this, even with my little hiccups in the, in the middle of it. But uh, that's that. And as as I get better at this, like I said, it's a lot of CNC folks out there, and I appreciate y'all uploading your videos because that's how I'm learning because I'm not a direction reader, and I like to watch the videos, and that's how I pick it up. But uh, so y'all keep adding the videos, I'll keep learning from you. And I'm gonna do the same. So therefore, I want to throw some up to show that some videos you see these guys are putting out some awesome stuff where you don't start that way. This is me starting right here, starting simple. So as I progress, I'll throw some more videos up and as I learn, I'll throw more, more items up to show you what I learned and tips and tricks that's helping me along the way. So this is number one and we're gonna, we're gonna see what, what we can do in the future. So anyway, Thank y'all for watching. If you got any questions, shoot me a comment. I'll be glad to answer them to the best of my ability. Like I always say, y'all have a nice day. And like and subscribe if you want to. You don't have to, but it helps me out, and I really appreciate it. Anyhow, y'all have a nice one.